Kwenye episode hii tuone namna ya kufanya registration ya models kwenye admin panel. So default admin ya kilogini na kutana na two models. Ya kwanza ni groups ya pili ni users na hizi ni default models. Okay. So kwenye episode hiyo tangulia tulitengeneza models kadha ya kwanza department, employee, announcements na customer. Okay. Kisha tukona namna kufanya migration ya model kwenye kwenye database ya MySQL of course. Models yetu ni hizi zimekuja kwenye database. So tuna 16 tables. Okay. Lakini pia tuliona namna kutengeneza super user na kumwezesha super user ku login kwenye admin panel. Okay. So tuliona pia namna ya kufanya customization ya admin panel kutoka katika default template kwenda kwenye free open source Jasmine. Okay. So tuliona namna ya kuingia katika hii uh, site ambayo tuli download library ya Jasmine. Okay. Kisha tuka integrate katika site yetu ambayo ni hii. Of course kuna namna kufanya customization na tuliona kwenye episode ilio tangulia. Okay. So now current kuna modu mbili kuna modo ya authentication na authorization kuna groups kwa jili ya authentication kuna users kwa jili ya authorization ok so default models so kuna models ya employee department announcement moja na customer so hizo models natakwa zijia zonikana yapa kwenye models na zijia zonikana yuko kwenye models alright so natakwa katika project nita access admin ok so admin hii hapa Okay, so now hapa nitafanya registration ya model, ta register model zangu. Okay, so nitatengeneza okay, so na nitafanya importation, importation ya model class. Okay. So model file hii hapa ambapo kuna class department employee announcement. So now, hiyo file ya models tarifanyia importation hapa admin. Okay, so now from dot okay, so now import models. Okay, after that nitakuja hapa nitatengeneza class, ya class ya kwanza nitafanya registration ya employee, so tutakuja katika admin so nitatengeneza class so nitaandika keyword inaitwa class okay nitaacha space okay so hii itakuwa ni employee okay a capital letter naming convention yo so admin okay after then nitaandika models okay nitaandika dot parameter nitaandika a model admin model admin okay so by then nitakuja hapa nita terminate kwa kuchukua maji Okay so now tunachofuata ni kuweka list ambazo zitakuwa displayed. So nitaandika list okay underscore uh, display list display okay by then nitasema equal to alafu nitafungua bracket za namna hii. Kisha kwenye quotation, kwenye quotation nitaenda katika employee okay nitaenda katika models alright Kwenye employee nita copy of course hiki kama kilivyo. So tutaje katika admin. Okay now. So kwenye admin nitaje ku paste hapa chini. So nita just kuwa na pick hapa Okay, full name. Nita kweka hapa full name. Okay, so nita copy roll. Okay, so nita just hapa kweka comma, quotation, na copy roll. Right? So na email. Okay, so nita kuja hapa, nita just kweka hiyo email. Right? Ya mission department. Okay, so nita kuja hapa, nita kweka hiyo department. Nita kwa hivi. Okay, so nita kuja hapa, nita kweka hiyo department. Okay, so nita kuja hapa, nita kweka hiyo department. Okay, so nita kuja hapa, nita kweka hiyo in i uh model sound and admin dot what dot site then dot to access method to register in built in method now mtaka bracket is namna hii so nitaandika models okay then na tumia dot pareta ku access class ambayo ipo kwenye model inaitwa employee so nita access now employee okay then tutumia dot pareta sorry take a comma namna hiyo kisha nitaandika hii employee admin Amba ipo juu. So, nita just kuandika employee admin. Alright. After then, nita save changes. Nikisha nita kuja katika current. Nita check saver. Current saver nita kuwa yu na run. Okay. So, saver nita kuna just kuna error na yura nisha fix. Of course, nita kuja kurani saver tena again. Okay. So, now no attribute mode admin. Okay. So, yes. So, models dot c model admin of course admin sorry so hapa nandika admin ok admin ok so now nipu nye kuposition ya kurun saver of course saver current na run itakuja katika admin nita refresh ok so now after refreshing nitaona employee hapa imesha jitokeza so niki click ok so nikitaka ku add employee so now nipu nye position ya ku add employee but no department ok kusabu department ni foreign key na fetch kwenye tegu ya department 
Okay. So now utakuja hapa nitafanya registration tena. Registration nitakofanya hapa ni registration ya of course department. Okay. So now na edit na toa hii employee naandika department okay. Okay. So now department admin. So list di display kuja kwenye models. Okay. Kwenye models na hii only one field ile kitu department. So now copy it njio kwenye admin. Okay. So now ndio kwa paste hapa kwenye list to display department of course itakuwa hivi so admin.site.register mode.t what department okay again na i associate na department admin department admin okay so now next save changes okay so kwa sababu hii ni list only one list unaweka comma namna hiyo so usipeka comma ita run error so nitakuja hapa nita refresh okay so after refreshing Okay, so now uh, employee of course inudi back. Okay, so now inudi back kwenye admin. Okay, so current kisha saver na run. Of course, kuna just errors. Okay, so now run saver. Okay, so now current saver na run. So nikija katika browser, niki refresh department is yapa. So now nipo nye position ya add department. Okay, now so hii nazan kadi department ya human resource. Niki buweza save. Okay now you have successful. So ngija katika database, nikija katika department niki click. Okay now so ndio hiyo department imekuwa added. Of course inaitwa human resource. Again, nikija ku add a new department. So ngija add department sales save, okay? Department ya sales, sorry. Okay, isn't save. Okay, so ngija katika database, niki just ku refresh, nitaona sales imekuwa added, right? So again, nikija uh, ku add uh, marketing save okay so ngeja katika database niki browse okay marketing okay now so now tuko kwenye position ya ku add another class here ku register okay now so <coughs> what class to register uh, of course employee admin okay so katika models department tayari na employee so announcement the announcement tuna uh, a heading document in date registered okay so now copy it so njoo katika admin okay so just paste okay so is takuwa ni announcement so now just write uh, announcement okay announcement admin okay now so list display so logo na ile hati na iacha okay now so start from heading okay now so heading Again, na i register uh, document. Okay, so now paste it. A document. Okay. Again, to kwenye date registered. Okay, so now date registered. Okay, so the dot site dot register models dot what? No announcement. Uh, success announcement, and then announcement admin. Announcement admin. Okay, so now the reach it. Okay, now so changes. So come katika browser. So kuja katika uh, terminal then na kuja kuiran server. Okay. So now current server yetu ina run. So nitakuja katika project yetu kwenye admin. Okay, now so nakuta announcement hapa. So now ni kwenye position ya ku click audio announcements. So one choose logo, heading, choose file then okay. Okay, now so ni kwenye position now ya ku register uh, customer, right? So nitakuja katika models Okay, so I'll get admin, right? Okay, now, so, <coughs> copy the same code. You have a duplicate, right? So, class will be custom admin. Custom admin, okay, so now, list display, so now we have models, okay, so now, copy all, okay, so join admin, okay, now, so paste it, okay. So, hapa sasa, just delete it, here, yapo. So now copy. Okay. So copy. Then it duplicate. I'll just duplicate. Okay. So ta paste to mundani kwenye zo quotation. Okay. So copy a uh, full name and paste it. And email. So just write here for email. And resident. So I'll write resident. Okay. And uh, national ID. Okay. So now national ID. Again, uh, state, okay, license, 
okay so now license 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 okay so now date registered nature empty insurance uh, of course na left then construction okay so now na kuja ku paste construction okay again uh, business type okay now ready ku weka business type okay again uh, business type plus business type earthquake okay so now and I copy earthquake okay now so now just kuja ku paste earthquake and again a uh, flood okay okay now just copy uh, here flood okay copy and paste flood and the last one will be tin number okay so now about of course na left so just paste it okay after then na kuja just delete it okay after then uh remove easy okay so admin dot site dot register models dot customer so as customer so customer admin okay oh uh, sorry so customer admin okay now save changes kuja katika web browser refresh okay so currently check server currently i run so to stop isha so python dot manage dot py dot run server okay so uh there's error here up one customer the value is display for to, okay sorry my mistake here pa okay so mistake ipo hapa somewhere yeah, just mistake okay this is tin number so run okay so now current project yetu ina run okay so nitakuja hapa nita nita refresh okay so nitakuja kuiona where is customers so ni click customers so nipo kwenye position ya ku add customers full name just na email Okay so license date okay again okay so okay so everything here za kali so hii ndio ilikuwa in markdown so naweza kaeka text hapa nikai format okay styles okay normal headings then colors so nikaeka colors okay so naweza nika format hapo okay now so kinachofuata sasa ni ku just ku uh, register mode nyingine of course so now copy it okay now come to duplicate so after then now you add mode but but the customer it compensation so now copy it okay so now uh, you got admin okay so now paste it okay so now uh, amount okay now so paste it okay so customer id okay then paste it again then date registered Okay then you paste it okay and then a receipt bank receipt okay so now okay a uh, bank receipt after then delete it okay so copy again again and then a uh, paste and the last one will be a uh, monthly installments now copy it okay come to admin and then paste so fill your forms that are your amount and then a uh, customer id that you registered bank receipt okay the same okay so model dot register uh what is model dot register so here ni uh tukao tuna register what uh compensation so right compensation compensation come to admin okay so now compensation admin okay now admin dot site dot register register a uh, compensation okay and the upper to register compensation admin okay now compensation sorry compensation okay now see compensation okay now compensation admin so this uh monthly installments so now kuja katika hii hapa just ku copy month, monthly installments okay so now come to admin okay now so remove announcement so paste monthly installment admin okay so models dot register models dot a uh, monthly installment from models okay so now hapa nandika monthly installments admin monthly installments admin okay now save changes okay so come to command line so stop isha then come to run server okay so now so current server na run so kuja katika browser okay now home okay so leo katika modo ya announcement compensation customers okay 
department demand. So when you click uh, compensation, okay, now I can add the compensation. Then amount Tanzania shillings and uh, viwango vya fedha cause hivi hapa. Okay, customer ID no customer is registered. Okay, so me compensation is na most customer. Okay, the bank receipt or product receipt. Okay, so now customer. So after registering customer, you will be able to uh, add the compensations. Okay, so in after registering departments, okay, so you'll be able to uh, add employee. Right? So employee, so you click department, so department, uh, it will fetch the table department. So department is for sales, marketing, and human resource. So click on employees. Now you'll be able to pick this department. So I want a relationship. Okay, so now the dashboard. Okay. So to make sure for registration ya um nani zetu model zetu zote of course in his. Okay. So kwenye episode you know flat we kuna namna ku customize icons. Icons kwenye admin. 